so good morning everybody my name is sumit and today we are going to discuss about the advanced salesforce administrator interview question and answers so here we are trying to cover most of the questions which are asked in interviews okay so let's start so the first question in many interviews they ask what is a profile and roles basically what is the difference so if you will see the profiles controls right like object field level security means everything it is there like general permission tab permissions okay to what kind of access you want to control right it's a read write or modify all or view all these kind of permissions you are going to give on the profile okay whereas in a role in role we offered record level access using roles such as owd means organization wide default or a role hierarchy by a sharing rule and manual rule simply put record level access basically overall what is a basic difference so if you will see here profile means to control the data right controlling by a lot of things okay what type of control you want to give on the profile on top of that profile you will assign that profile to the user whereas in role you will expose the data expose means you will give the access of data to the above the hierarchy or means there are multiple way that you can expose the data this is the difference basic difference okay so interview may interview may confuse a lot of time here so what kind of uh, uh, difference to expose data to control so you have to be a uh, very careful before giving the answer to the interviewer now second is how to delete or freeze user in salesforce so you know uh, it is not possible to delete a user from salesforce okay whereas you can deactivate or freeze the user so i said deactivate deactivate means let me show you i will show you here so if you'll see this is activate the user okay from here you can deactivate the user or activate the user but here you can see the freeze freeze means what user will not able to, if you will freeze the user so user will not access this one till then you have not unfreeze it okay so uh, this is the two way that we can control on the user so the basically people tell that this is the only option we have no another option we have this one okay now we're coming to the uh, so first you need to open the user and which user you want to freeze or deactivate you can perform the action from here now into the third question okay so uh, how many ways are there through that you can store the documents or files in salesforce so there are multiple ways so like attachment notes and attachment i hope you have seen that then document google drive is also one of the uh, place where you can store and then you can use the link from salesforce okay then libraries we have and a chatter file chatter file means on a case feed you are able to attach the files okay so these all are the ways where we can store the images or documents now fourth question what are the default index field okay now these questions are very popular nowadays so people are asking what are default index fields so salesforce default index fields are like primary keys foreign keys audit field and custom field so primary keys like name id and owner field okay foreign keys means look up and master relationship no other relationship if you want to try the file in self so it is not possible look up and master audit dates last modifies only and the custom fields 
only marked as external id or unique so if you are creating a custom field and you have marked it as external id or unique so you can make it as a default index field as well okay fine now what is fifth question is what is a field dependency field dependency you will know like right? one is a controlling field and another is a depending field right means based on your control field suppose you are choosing uh, you have chosen asia so in asia you will get like india pakistan sri lanka list of the peoples you are getting sorry list of the countries you are getting in asia but if you use euro then you will get like finland denmark australia right sweden so these all are so based on your controlling control which field is controlling controlling means you have chosen europe or asia based on that you are getting this dependent field okay so this is a, a field dependency basically uh, in next ongoing in a technical interview they ask how you will get the data from a schema right so you have to describe the schema and get the data so we will see later on this one so it's a just a high level at what i'm claiming to you here now how to set the login hours a login ip range for the users in salesforce so first of all i want to tell you that it will not be a specific to a user it will be specific to a profile based on a profile so interviewer may ask this question how you will restrict the user it is not possible to restrict any users be to the like like login hours and i login ip hour. but from profile i can do that okay specifically if you want to uh, push this functionality to any user not possible straight forward and how we can do it and we can do it from the uh, setup administrator manage user basically on profiles okay so you can restrict here going to the next question so what type of sharing rules we have so basically we have owd role and hierarchy manual sharing criteria based sharing rule apex sharing rule so just it's a high level that i have defined here in my next uh, scenario based questions i will explain this i will ask the question based on this so you will come to know so what all are other uh, crms have more popular crms we have so like oracle crm microsoft dynamic crm sap crm sugar crm is also very famous okay so these all are the competitor of salesforce crm coming to the question number 9th so when do we use the data loader so the question is very specific what is data loader i am not asking when we have to use data loader that's is a question right so there are a multiple ways that we can load the data loader right so we have a data import wizard we have data loader.io as well but we are using data loader why so the reason is that we can load the data from 50000 more than 50000 but less than 50 lakh records okay so here if you want to perform a multiple times so we can save a mapping one time and we can use it multiple time so if you will see if you will insert or update any record in data loader so you have to select the uh, mapping right from which excel file and the object file you have to map it once you will map it you can save that file and whenever you reperform that activity just you have to select that mapping file and you will directly proceed to your operation dml operation and the next and very big advantage is data backup export our your data for data purpose so salesforce not recommend to you to take the backup but if still if you want to take a backup of any of your data so what we can do we can use cld command line interface so cli command line interface will install it and we can from a, a, a web services we can we can directly export the data from salesforce to your local system or a local server okay so it will be based on your performance based on your uh, requirement means on what day and time you want to take a backup 
it will be performed based on that. And also, definitely, you know, we can uh, provide the duplicate by loading the records. Okay. So these all are the things which makes comfortable with data loader. Next is how can we clear the time based workflow action queue? So nowadays this question is also very popular. Okay. So, so basically there are two ways. First, you can make the false criteria. So suppose you have to uh, positive positive, then use the negative negative means you have to break the criteria and you can use it. Or simply you can clear by removing action that can reschedule the rescheduled from the queue. Okay, just remove the action. So I can uh, in my next uh, scenario based question, I will explain this thing. Question number 10 also to show you the demo and you will be able to understand based on the scenario. Now, another question, what is mean by app in Salesforce? What are the type of Salesforce? Basically, app is nothing. It's a, just a, a control. Control means it it ha it has a lot of uh, tabs. Okay, so it will segregate your all the tabs that whatever you want as per your application, you can use it. Okay, so you can name it. Basically, we have two type of apps, custom app and console app. You can put the logos there and the uh, different type of uh, application you can uh, build and perform on it. So that's all for the day. And uh, I will come up with my next scenario based question, which will be a big, uh, a big uh, means uh, good for everyone to understand the Salesforce completely. Thank you. Thank you all.